Three, two, one, action. What's up, everybody? I'm here with Christopher Goldborn. Go. Hey, restart that. <laughs> You said you had it I know, dude. I forgot. I knew he was going to do it. Take two. What's up, everybody? This is Player Perspective, episode number two. I'm here in the office, brand new office, and I'm here with Christopher Goldburn. Tell us about yourself. So, uh, like you said, my name is Christopher Goldburn, and I'm about 30 minutes away from here. I grew up in Glasgow, Kentucky. Most of my life, I played sky soccer here in Bowling Green, so that's why I seem to be more of a local here. Okay, so this is your second season with the Golden Lions now, and you yourself had to try out. Mm -hmm. Even though it's your second season, you played last year. How confident were you about getting back on the team? How confident were you going into the tryouts? Well, I don't like to be too confident all the time, even though I did make it last year. That doesn't mean that my spot secured this year, so I still went in with the same mindset as, hey, I gotta put in work. I gotta make sure everybody knows that I'm still here and I'm back for another season and I'm ready to go. What does the preparation look like for yourself going into training and a tryout like this? Well, uh, once, you, once you're done playing soccer, you don't want to do a lot of running anymore. So when, uh, it's hard to get back into it. So you start off slow, but every once in a while, you got to pick up the pace in it more and more. So it's just a lot of running. I'm trying to get back into that state. So uh, you're a right back. Mm -hmm. In your mind, what makes a great right back? Uh... Well, I've always seen it right back more like Kyle Walker, like Danny Alves, very pacey, good on the ball, and I can also put in a good ball to put on the striker set every single time. So that's what I see, a very pacey person that can play a good ball into the box. How did you figure out that you are a right back yourself? Well, I started off as a right wing, and then I got kind of demoted to right back. <laughs> so I guess that's how I figured out that I was okay. a right back. How did you get into soccer? I've all... Uh, I couldn't tell you like an exact like moment where I got into soccer, but I always know that I've always had a ball on my foot and that that's what I've always loved to do. And then my dad being from England, it just makes it 10 times easier to get into. What part of England? London. Okay, nice. When did you guys, or when did he move here? He moved over here in high school uh, to play basketball for University Heights and soccer. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, cool. I'm not sure exactly what year, but it was okay. high school. Cool. So, um. What are your top three memories of the season previous? Uh, I would say, well, obviously winning the league mm -hmm. and then only losing one game in a season for us to, uh, for this to be our first season, only losing one game. I think that's pretty great. Did you expect to be so successful when you joined the team? Yes, there was, it was good to see uh, all these familiar faces and I've known them from soccer and I know that we've, Everyone that's been on the team has accomplished a lot in their soccer career here in Bowling Green. Mm -hmm. So I know that if we get together, it's just a lot of dogs ready to work. So I knew we were going to be successful, but I didn't know how successful. We, we asked Michael similar questions, but uh, what is the intensity like at a training session of a club at this caliber? It's very intense. There's a lot of screaming and yelling, but you just got to learn to rub that off because they're only trying to make you better. Yeah. It's just how they show it. Yeah, I understand that. There's a lot of new faces. There's a lot of new uh, players, and but the same coaching staff mm -hmm. for the most part. What are your expectations for the club this year? Well, since we did so good last year, I expect the same. But and then to do better, so that means we got to go undefeated this year, and that means we got to go even farther into the national tournament. What was it like for you, being able to travel with the team as, as like a whole team? Everything's just. You know, everybody's together. Everybody's wearing the same stuff. Every, mm -hmm. Like, it's super professional. Yeah. What was that like? Well, like I said, we're all pretty local to Bowling Green, but there's different high schools and some different age groups, so we didn't all get to play on the same team. So being able to play with kids that are a couple years older than me that went to a Bowling Green, so went to a Bowling Green school, it's pretty special to play alongside them. So yeah. we all were pretty close. I understand that. So back to talking about your dad, he moved from London. You said he went to college for basketball and soccer. He was now in high school. he was in high school. Okay, he was in high school for basketball and soccer. Um, now he's the athletic trainer mm -hmm. for BGFC. What's that like being on the team with him, basically at the same time? Well, it's easier for me because I can hitch rides from him coming from <laughs> Lindsey Wilson every day. So that's nice. But it's fun to. Um, have him as kind of like a coach and a mentor again because now that I'm older he's not my coach as much anymore so it's always special to have him 
Burrow. I'm assuming he was your coach when you were younger. Oh, of course, all the time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's fair enough. What would you say to a younger you? I would say to a younger me to just keep your head down, keep your mouth shut, because I always got in trouble for talking too much. And so I would just tell him to keep his mouth shut and just keep moving forward and keep working on what you love. So you mentioned you played for Lindsey Wilson. Um, what do you? What What are the differences between Lindsey Wilson and BGFC? Well, unlike BGFC, those kids aren't very local. See, we have kids coming in from Germany. We got kids coming in from Ireland, France, Brazil, all over. So it's a it's a different pace, and it's a much higher and more. It's a faster pace, so it's. So it's a lot different coming back too because those kids have been playing in academies all over Europe. And so when they come here, it's a bit different for them too, but I try and take a little bit from each country and what they have and try and apply it here to do my own thing. Gotcha. Well, Christopher, thank you for coming on Player's Perspective. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Player Perspective number three will be coming out next week. Subscribe, like, and uh, we'll see you guys then. Thank you. Thank you.